think one of the ultimate compliments is to have a song written about you. I finally have. It's not just any old song, it's not just any old guy. It's by the most gorgeous guy I've ever met and a talented musician at that. And it's not just about me, it's about me, Alice, and Evan Dando. Evan Dando of the Lemonheads. Yes, Evan Dando, the Lemonhead sex god, has re-emerged. And guess what? One of the songs on his new album was inspired by Wild Weekends, my girlfriend Alice, Evan, and I spent at Glastonbury, New York, and London. I met up with him in New York to find out if those flames of passion were still burning. Evan, what is that? Is that a What's pistol what? in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, man. I'm so fucking horny, baby. <laughs> I got a hat on. <laughs> Put that down, young okay. man. Right. Control yourself. His protrusion under control, Evan serenaded me with his ode to our mad days and nights. It's all true. I got me. Ugh, the dork harmonizing on the right is me. We got time to share. You and I, you and I hooked up at Glastonbury. And, me, you and Alice went off together to have to fun. To our country and house in Bridport. Yeah, with Mark rented. and everybody. You'd sleep over and we'd go back to the, the festival every day. That was the best. You were quite honest about drug use. I don't know, it all goes back to things like William Burroughs and the Stones and, and stuff like that. Like All the stuff I liked when I was 10 years old, they all like were, were really into drugs. And so, luckily I'm not enough of a fuck up that like people wouldn't want to take drugs. <laughs> I'm like a good, I'm an example of why, why you shouldn't not to? take drugs. Yeah. But I knew if I was going to release another record that it had to be good because like people were so ready to just like totally write me off as a, um, as a musician. Yeah, this is my doctor. Uh, Rock stars always have doctors. I have to see my physician, physician for a moment. I'll, I'll be back in a second. In there. I love Evan off stage, but by the time he gets on stage, I idolize him. Okay, yeah, I admit it. I'm a groupie. I took my bra off. It's a really expensive one. I hope I get it back. The audience is about 90% girls. But I think he loves me the most. Yeah, right. Backstage, Helena Christensen and I discussed Evan D. Dando fandom. Evan is so cute that he gets all the beautiful people at his gig. It's really, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's, it's like not the about beauty, it's about mind. He's it's so mind colored. You, you know? have to admit, he's like the cute, most he beautiful guy I've ever seen. Very cute. And he's, he's adorable. He is. Here he is. Um, adorable. Hello. <laughs> hello. You can all go away now. Yeah. Turn those cameras off. We're having a private party. Evan and I have some business to attend to. You're gonna make a baby. <laughs> <laughs>